People must be quite looking forward to 17th of May, Kuntepshai, whether it would mean second phase of easing of restriction or not, especially when today Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha thanks to everyone who has been cooperating so far, and he said, please be patient because on 17, the decision to reopen other group of business activities might really happen. So that will depend on whether from now until next week, the number of new infection is single digit or below 10 each day, Kun Chai. That's right. Even though that uh, we still have these uh, daily press conferences to uh, report on the progress in the fight against coronavirus, it looks like people are no longer as preoccupied as they were with the number of new infection cases now. I think yeah. the question in, which is now in the minds of most people at this day is when, the, when will the second phase of the easing of the shutdown will take place? Prime Minister today indicated that 17th of May could be the beginning of the second phase of the relaxation of the social distancing rules. So let's wait and see because uh, the next few days will be very crucial if uh, we can keep the number of new infections at the rate uh, that has been in the past several days, then uh, it's quite, quite, quite likely that uh, the second phase of the easing of the lockdown will, will take place. Psychologically, probably people feel that it's manageable, the whole situation, especially when we see the number of new infections each day in the past two weeks has been below 10. And today, the new case of infection is eight and no new fatality. And mostly from eight new infection, it happened in the south, especially in the detention center in Sadao, in Amper Sadao, Songkla province. From, yeah. from eight new infection, five are illegal immigrants, mostly are women aged 19 to 30 years old from detention center in Amper Sadao, Songkla, and three more are Thai male who live in Banangsta, Yala province. Yeah, we can see from the latest report today that uh, new cases are uh, confined to areas in southern Thailand, and five of them, as Gunakar mentions, are legal Im immigrants. So it, it only goes to show how effective the um, containment uh, of the virus has been in, in the country. Of course, the focus has in the past two weeks been on the returnees, Thai returnees from overseas and migrant workers who have been working in Thailand. And many of these people have been put under state quarantine or local quarantine now. So uh, we can take comfort from the fact that uh, among the Thai people, in general, I mean, there has been no, I mean, very few reports of uh, new infections in the past few days.